Diversifying your investments entails more than merely balancing your portfolio's equities and bonds. Fine art and other alternative assets may have a place in your portfolio as well. What is the value of Jackson Pollock's Untitled Collection of Six Prints, 1951? Is Jordan Castile's work worth your time and money? Today, watch the video to learn about the best artists and art pieces to buy in right now. Henry de Toulouse La Trec, the seated clownness, 1896 by Henry de Toulouse-Lautrec sells for roughly $320,000. This print, velvety and fresh even after a hundred years, depicts Chao Kao, a clown and a dancer, taking a break from the throng. The Montmartre performer was one of Toulouse's favorite Lautrec subjects, and a painting of her sold for roughly $12 million on Wednesday at the Sotheby's in the A. Alfred Tubman collection. But this image achieves a sense of intimacy that not all of her depictions have. A print from this issue is in the Metropolitan Museum of Arts collection. Lucas Arruda. Lucas Arruda is a Brazilian painter who produces imagined semi-abstract landscapes and seascapes that evoke romantic concepts of the sublime. In 2017, he held solo exhibitions of his intimately scaled paintings at David's Werner Gallery in London. And in 2019 in New York, Arruda, aged 37, has works in the Foundation by in Switzerland, the J. Paul Getty Museum in Malibu, the Rubel Family Collection in Miami, and the Pinatoteca do Estado de São Paulo in Brazil. Untitled 2011, which will be auctioned on February 13th, will be his first work to be sold at Christie's. Talamadani. Talamadani is an Iranian artist who creates enigmatic narrative sequences that aim to challenge male stereotypes. She received her MFA from Yale School of Art in 2006, and 12 years later, her auction record was set when the house sold for 60,000 euro at Christie's in Amsterdam. Two recent solo shows at Pillar Korea's Gallery in London, as well as her work being featured in the National Gallery of Victoria Triennial in Melbourne and the Whitney Biennial in New York, undoubtedly boosted her price. With her fame growing, the group of four paintings being offered in London could be a good investment. Pablo Picasso. The price range for Pablo Picasso's Profil de Jacqueline R. Farlard, 1955, is $100,000 to $200,000. When Picasso created this print of a new lover, Jacqueline Roque, who became his second wife in 1961, he was still learning the linocut method, cutting in the linoleum. The imperfect lines that gently contour her angular face offer a dimension of intimacy to the photo. Many of Picasso's works featured this young, dark-haired heroine, but this one felt particularly charged. In profile, she's muscular and powerful, but she's still submissive. Genevieve Figgis. Richard Prince led Irish painter Genevieve Figgis, born 1972, into the upper echelons of the New York art world after being lured to her macabre paintings, which appear like old masters left to melt in the sun on Twitter. Figgis signed with Elmine Rech Gallery in London, Paris, Brussels, New York, and Shanghai the next year, in 2015. In 2019, she set a new auction record of $303,663. Figgis' paintings have a macabre feel to them, combining idealized Borghese scenes with dark, surreal humor. Alberto Burri. Alberto Burri Mixo Bloc, 1990, is valued at $150,000 and is part of a limited edition of 30. Burri is best renowned for his stark abstractions of ripped, burnt burlap, melted, blistered sheets of plastic, and is currently the subject of an outstanding study at the Guggenheim Museum. However, in the 1980s and 1990s, he changed to a more minimalist manner, making gorgeous works that remain visceral and tactile, but in a more subtle way. These monochromatic black prints on paper, which are an outgrowth of his late paintings, combine gentle shifts in texture and saturation to develop graphic, geometric patterns across the collection. Burry worked in both Rome and Los Angeles, where he produced this film. Harold Uncart. Harold Uncart, a Belgium artist, had his first solo show in the United Kingdom in 2018 after David Zwerner Gallery in London. According to one critic, a lot of big-name collectors came to look at his bold, abstract canvases, no doubt knowing that his auction record was achieved two years prior at Christie's when Triptych, untitled, sold for $751,500 against an estimate of $80,000 to $120,000. Uncart, who has been compared to 
abstract expressionist Clifford Still has painted a gigantic, site-specific painting for the front window of the Centre Humble du Metz, which is in currently on display as part of the group exhibition Painting the Night 2018-2019. Xcopy. Xcopy is a digital artist and cryptocurrency enthusiast located in London, has sold 1,914 NFT artworks. Xcopy's artworks, which explore themes of death, dystopia, and indifference, include distorted visual loops and flashing imagery warnings, as his work almost always includes some type of flashing light pattern. Xcopy's biggest reported sale was for some a-hole at $5,119,491,000, averaging $7,222.84 per piece. The painting includes a scribbled portrait of the title character who is dressed in a suit and tie and has clawed eyes straight out of a nightmare. There's enough of dystopia here for the right price. Hakatel. Hakatel, the original crypto artists, are the top-selling artists with 2,253 artworks sold at an average price of $13,000. $984.38 per. Akatao explores topics of society, ecology, humanity, and cryptography. It's named Hack from the delight of diving beneath the skin and discovering what's inside, and Tao for yin and yang. Flood, the Italian duo's best-selling piece, depicts an animated new giantess standing with just her head above water amid a flooded metropolis, tattooed head to toe in messages of anxiety and tension like wake up mankind and truth. The piece, which sold for $998,282.50, emphasizes climate change adaptation as a reminder that not everything is digital yet. Sybil Andrews Concert Hall 1929 by Sybil Andrews is valued at $90,000. The powerful graphic architecture of the music hall fills the frame in Andrews' early 20th century print, making it feel stunningly modern. Andrews exclusively worked in the medium of linocut, like her fellow Grosvenor school artist, the English futurist, essentially, explains gallery director Richard Selby. To make it accessible to the masses, the image was hand-pressed, which means she applied pressure to the back of the linoleum rather than pressing it. She had a sharp, contemporary eye, and the medium's clean lines complemented her vision. Now that we've discussed a range of artists and artwork that are worth investing money in, it's time to now get into those ones we mentioned at the beginning of the video, like the untitled by Jackson Pollock, with its high price range of over a million dollars, or how about Jordan Castile's artwork? How much is it worth, and is it a good investment? And finally, there's the best-selling NFT artist who goes by Beeple. Stay tuned to find out all the details regarding these artists and their artwork. Jackson Pollock Untitled collection of six prints, 1951, by Jackson Pollock, has a high price range of over $1 million. From many booths away, the burst of ink on these incredibly vibrant images draws the eye. Pollock didn't make a lot of prints, so they're hard to come by, especially ones made during his lifetime, says gallery president Richard Bayano. In 1951, the artist created this set to go with a show of comparable black enamel paintings at Betty Parsons Gallery. Jackson Pollock blind spots a recent exhibition at Tate Liverpool featured another set from the National Gallery of Arts collection. Jordan Castile. Jordan Castile, a Colorado native, googled best MFA programs in 2010. She graduated from Yale School of Art four years later and had a critically lauded solo show at New York Sargent's Daughters Gallery. Artists as a diverse as Jacob Lawrence, Carrie James Marshall, and Alice Neal have influenced her rich, sympathetic portraiture. My goal is to bring attention to the magic of our existence as black bodies and the physical spaces we inhabit, she says. Castile was the centerpiece of Christie's post-war and contemporary art evening auction at March 2019. Lot 1, Patrick and Amari, a double portrait from 2015, drew nine bidders before selling for £299,250 against a £40,000 to £60,000 estimate. It was the artist's second appearance at Christie's, and he had just turned 30. People. After a historic auction with Christie's Auction House, Mike Winkleman, who goes by the artist named Beeple, is the best-selling NFT artist. The item every day is the first 5,000 days, which sold for $69,346,250, was partly responsible for mainstream media attention of NFT sales. This was also the first time a well-known auction house sold crypto art and accepted Bitcoin as payment. Beeble's pieces average 
$3.66 each, with 1,346 sold. He's also continues his Everyday series on Instagram, where he posts everyday digital masterpieces. His works are both realistic and bizarre, ranging from digital shapes and scenery to hideous political illustrations. There you have it, a range of the top art pieces and top artists that are worth investing your money into or owning. The idea behind owning and investing in the artwork is becoming a lot more popular as people are getting into it. And it's clear there are some artists out there that are just killing the game. Leave us a comment down below about which artwork or artist you would invest into or look at buying, or if you would have any experience in investing into artwork. We hope you enjoyed today's video and thanks for watching.